That's good. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. I'm going to give a five to seven minutes total speech. And you all are going to play a role. You all are from Acme Company. And you've all got, I don't know if it would be a demotion or a promotion, but you're all middle manager staff. And I'm going to be making a presentation at our normal weekly manager's meeting. And I'll start right now. <laughs> Hello, managers. Uh, my name is Bill Stoffel. Um, I'm here today to talk to you for about five to seven minutes on a proposal I have. It's to bring, have our company host postmaster meetings in our conference room. And I want to start with, curses, please! We need it! We need it! We need it! We need it! That's how not to do it. <laughs> let, let, me, let, let me restart. I'm an evaluator. <laughs> That's how I do most of my presentations. <laughs> Fellow managers, I've got five to seven minutes. I'd like to talk to you about hosting Toastmaster meetings in our facility here. More particularly, the Toastmaster Club, Noontime Toastmaster Club, has meetings twice a month on the first and third Wednesdays for one hour at noontime. And they would use our conference room to have the meetings. Well, you're asking yourselves, why would we want to do that? Why wouldn't we just let some other <coughs> company host Toastmaster Clubs? Well, you know, times are tough right now, and we're going through some difficult times with the economy. We need to, we have overall goals to try to get our revenues up, bring our costs down. And you all are aware of the recent strategies which our company has, which involve employee development. We want to try to train our people, have them uh, improve morale. We also want to improve, increase our outbound marketing. We want everyone who is in our company to be an entrepreneur who's out there selling our company and our services to the clients. And lastly, we've got a community development program where we are trying to uh, work with the community and try to improve the community as part of our public relations. So, how does Toastmasters, how would hosting a meeting in our facility help achieve some of those goals, those strategies? Well, if you're not all familiar with Toastmasters, Toastmasters is a public speaking club. It has a program where you start out with beginner males and you work up into more advanced speeches. Matter of fact, there's even speeches that have to do with making business proposals, similar to what I'm doing right now. And there's also a other part of Toastmasters which has to do with leadership. There's a lot involved in planning meetings and planning events, as Ruth knows, and evaluating people, giving feedback. So this helps out with um, developing employees. Some of the benefits that we would get by holding the meetings here in our facility are that, most importantly, I think you'll agree to this, more of our employees would go to the meetings and join the club. Right now, if you have to walk across town, take a bus, commute, it's going to be an inhibitor. So by having the meetings right in our facility, we'll be able to have more of our employees go to the meetings. That's probably the number one biggest thing. Now, in addition to that, once our employees join the club, they will be able to become better speakers, better communicators, and better leaders, get some of this training. Well, what's our alternative? Right now, we've been sending our managers, our employees out to Dale Carnegie. We've been sending them to other uh, management programs. We've been sending them to conferences. These things cost a lot of money. Toastmasters is about $90 a year per person. It's very cost effective. Our employees and our managers would be doing this during their lunch hour, so it isn't costing our company very much. The only cost is the opportunity cost of using the conference room, which, by the way, we don't run that many meetings during lunch hour. I've checked with the secretary, and we have not really scheduled too many meetings between 11.30 and 1. Basically, we're out having lunch. Secondly, Toastmasters will enable our employees to 
feel more comfortable speaking with groups. This will increase our outbound marketing. In addition, by having the meetings, there's a wide variety of people that come to the meetings. It helps in networking. Our employees will mix with people outside our company, and they will be able to pick up some of the skills and finer points of the skills that the other people have. Many top companies specifically send their folks to Toastmasters. For example, IBM salespeople are renowned for joining Toastmaster clubs going through. Lastly, for community development, this is something that will help us get good word out. Uh, there's a Toastmaster website where our company name will be uh, publicized. There's open houses where we will be getting new people to come into our facilities, become more familiar with our company, and uh, if we decide to host events, that's another way of getting our, our name out and our company involved with the leaders. Well, what's the plan? I'd like us to consider starting next, uh, the first Wednesday of next month, June 5th. We need top management approval, so one of the managers, middle managers, one of us, one of you all, will have to take this forward. I'm going to give you a written proposal tomorrow summarizing this presentation and any questions that come up after this. I'd like to get approval in two weeks by top management so that we can start this off. Do I have your support? Are there any questions? Well, thank you very much for your time. Ruth, did you have a question? Yes. Is there going to be any security problems with outside people coming in? I'm glad you mentioned that. Thank you very much for saying that. The Toastmaster clubs meetings usually have about 10 to 20, sometimes even more, people come to meetings. And what the there may be additional work for our security forces. Some of the things that Toastmasters will do is we will provide, the club will provide a list of members coming in and guests if we can get them in time. And if we have any guests that aren't on the list, we will make sure that we have a Toastmaster member to escort and bring the guests through. Overall, it shouldn't be that uh, big of an issue. And our facility, as you know, we do bring a fair number of guests through here as it is. And this will actually make our facility actually look more vibrant with all the people coming through. And maybe we'll get more of our employees to join. That was a great question. Overall, you got the balance of pros and the cons. We're giving up a, a, a conference room, which we don't use. We're giving a little bit more work for security. We're paying them anyway. And we have the opportunity to help our employees to improve morale, improve uh, employee retention, and uh, basically get our marketing campaign kicked off, our outbound marketing. Thank you very much for your time.